Welcome back to the wonderful world of V Rising, hunting one of the great wolves with my friend Wenzel the Lazy. That's what his name means. Walking through the woods and following the red trail, the red mist, the smell of blood of a powerful beast. Hooray! Ooh, the big bag of wolf, however, Wenzel the Lazy. And once again, okay. That's quite a frame drop when first they load the animations. Combat is almost. And by the way, the Shadow Chaos Ball, there was another named enemy which gave me a skill because apparently, if you do one of those uh, mini boss, area boss, character fights, feel their power. And what I get this time should be left control, wolf form. Why can't I? Ah, there it is. Moo! Eh, meow. Oh. So it's broken already. Get some blood roses. Ah, oh, nice with the animation. Ooh, yeah, that's way faster. Oh, oh. Wrong. Gotta, gotta remember, whatever you do, you break out of your form. Ooh, 58% creature blood. Ooh, hoo -hoo, increased sun resistance. That's nice. Nice quality. And now, interact and build something. Construct research. Right, that's one one we track. So, production, research, blanks. Oh, daylight's coming. How bad. Build a research sponge and now discover a random technology for 50 paper. Got no paper, but I'm pretty sure I get some papers. Maybe? Upgrade castle hall. But I got boots to research. New unlock Night Stalker's boots. Alright, how do we upgrade you? We upgrade you with 12 copper ingots and some leather. I think I found one leather and we got some copper ingots, so it's just building a smelter, letting time pass by, and then coming back if everything is built that we need. The wolf pack is hunting. During the hours of daylight, we have come to uh, run back into the shadows. Oh, oh. Don't want to suck this one dry because I got a 58% creature. A big, big grizzly bear which gives me a lot of resistance and walking feet. Mm. The wolf pack is out hunting. Well, there's a worker. Maybe I can, you know, turn her into a willing working slave. A eagerina for me, if you will. Make her a little hunchback, make sure she does all the things I need doing, and we are on our way to the copper mine. And on, at the copper mines we get paper, which will give us some more, you know, uh, well, paper. Paper, copper for items, paper for re random research. This is, you know... You just throw 50 papers in and see what inspiration you get. The entrance to the mine and it's still daylight. That's a bit of a poser, but oh well. Keep to the shadows. Always, 
in the shadows. It's nice that the wolf is way more resistant to shadow. A little bit of trading going on. Negotiating. The price of fish. It's a rare fish. Fishy, 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 fishy. Alright. The plundering of the mine continues. And in the heart of the mine, there is another NPC that can be sucked dry for skills. So that's why I was brought here. Make me strong. Defeat me up. So one day I can betray him. No, it's a PvE only server. We're all nice here. The good thing about underground maps is no sunlight. Just paper, copper, and blood. 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 Water filled sack. Alright. If you have to. Opening some chests, looting everything. It's an almost done. Oh, there, there's copper. You can see a nice luster. Hellish carrion. The moon's rising. He's way better than, than me in cutting down trees and rocks and everything because of that. Why hail level gear than me? So I'm just taking care of, you know, plant based work. The little miners in the corners. I was not really patient enough to build myself some new maps. Ooh, raw zephyr. How's it going? 13 paper, that's not one single research. Also, if I don't get all... Well, I already got some copper. If I don't get any of the copper... Well, I got one more space in my inventory free. Oh. Almost. Almost sucked and dry, but I don't wanna I don't wanna lose my creature blood. Okay. I mean it's not really about the blood, it's about the high percentage that you get. The higher the percentage, the more various arrow stone breaker. I think in the blood hunting, blood altar thing in magic. He's the number two guy. Let's see how easy he hunts them down. Well, normally you'd use a pickaxe, not a pike, to go mining, but, well. He's not a dwarf, he's a vampire. What can you expect? I'll handle you myself. Let's throw some kale balls this way. And he's going balls to the walls. Let's hear that crunch. And chaos. Shabam, shabam. Eh, and all of them back. I'm going to feed on you. Ooh, and he's mine. New skills, new plans, everything new on luck. And now it's time to head back after. Ooh, hello. Ooh, gemstones. Shinies, all the shinies. Time to head on back. This is the mine, just for reference on the map. At the far bane woods, directly under the bane. The bane of the main of the vein in the mine. Yeah, that was a very, very bad rhyme. <laughs> Ooh, lots of research. It's no longer random research, you now get told what you need to research everything. So we got the merciless copper sword. That's something we can learn. Why do I have to? Uh, uh, 
Or learning, not learning. Is it learn? Well, gotta learn how to learn. We got to record the ice which got felled. Uh, Kelly the Frost Archer, twice. Because I forgot you need to kill those to get the unlocks. I was wondering why I couldn't get any further. But oh well, I got protection. And the Witch Hunter with the crossbow in the side. Kinda strange when the vampire goes all Van housing on you. Oh well. Little woodcutter. And we also saw our first one level 100 character. Supposed to be the Oh the Blood Moon. Probably we can be really, really mean. Of it. This is the camp of the foreman. Two percent, three percent. No one really wants those. We want the juicy ones, real high percentage. But I guess they are very, very rare. So, well, you can't always get what you want, and we got a blood moon. Effect of your current blood type: twenty percent increase your movement speed by ten percent, and there's a witness for me. The poacher fall man. Oh, no, you don't. Target practice. Yeah, there's no target practice. There's me devouring your soul. So we all scorpion on him. Your soul will be mine. What are you waiting for? Finish oh, it was a scorpion, was it? One, you know, more of a Which one was devouring the soul? Oh, who knows? Who cares? And the poor man was back here. Wait, time to pull under the camp. Oh, yes. The chest. Always plunder everything. Ooh, an axe. Maybe something I can use. So I don't have to make one. That would be nice. Ooh, once again, I forgot. I'm sorry, oh, there was another boss. I don't know which one. I'm very sorry. You know, you really know this. I'm a professional YouTuber. I show the people everything they want to see. The post battle scene looting frenzy. The major item in every game that cannot be missed. The fishing pole. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. All right, painting frame, reeds, carpet wood. I don't. So my mission now is build up a real castle. So the grinder grinds all the stone into bricks, and I got my first few castle floors. Well, it's gonna take a while until this looks like yon better east of the castle. A lot of time going by and not much else to show in times of progress, so I don't know, maybe it will be the end of the recording for today. Maybe I keep it a shorter episode to, you know, compensate for the extra long first episode. Since there's not much to be done other than grinding stuff together, so now it goes the main gameplay loop. A bit of a slower one, a little bit probably spoiled by the planet crafter which was just more and more and more it has been two days since the last recording and as you can see the place is somewhat different it's up in the north and it's Wenzel Stefaule castle I dismantled my own and now I'm up here at his castle just because it's a hold up grind. So the title of the game, Bram Stoker's Grand Grind, is actually quite fitting. 
later on in the game you can capture some enemies and drain their blood however you have to keep them pet give them some fish food and then from time to time you can attract attract blah, blah, extract normal blood or es essence or extra blood extra blood essence is just you know blood essence it Used for keeping your castle running. It's you, you got thousands of those. It's they just accumulate, and there's nothing you can do about it. Let's have a small look here at the blood press. Oh, it's not so much more anymore, but yeah, a hundred blood essence can be condensed into a greater blood essence. And as you can see, there's there's tons of blood essence lying around. That's my horse. It's called Pinky. For those who know the name, you know why it's called Pinky. So, will there be more videos about this game? No, there will not, because it's very clear this is not enjoyable to watch for anyone. I tried recording at least some of the boss fights, but mostly I forgot, didn't click rec correct. Record at the correct time. Good grief. Words are hard. As you can see, there's a lot more to do. There's the third tier of research. This time you need schematics, and then you can... Once more, unlock a lot of stuff via research. One of the best things in the game is if some of your clan buddies already has stuff unlocked, you just have to walk over to his research bench, click it and activate research, research, learn, 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 click, click, learn, learn, learn. And you're up to his level. The only personal progression that's in the game is the power system where you suck the blood of the boss enemies and unlock new powers like the first one, the wolf form, crossbow. This however goes down towards the basic armor gear, for example, Dorf, Dornthorn Regalia. If he had researched already the it did the merciless stuff, the upgraded version of the armor, because every armor has its normal and its merciless version. I could build the merciless stuff from the bench, however the base armor I would be unable to build unless I got it unlocked by just, you know, I didn't have the boss suck dry. So this is the only bit of personal progression you can use for your journal for the quest line everything the other person has built for example i never built myself an own throne room but all i had to do is sit in his throne it got updated to interact with throne and everything is good now what can you do in the throne you can bite and turn npcs into vampire thralls little egos and you can send them out on missions you can only send them in mis to missions in areas where have you personally been. So there's a lot of areas where I could send him, but since I didn't really run into and discover it, I can not. This red one is someone is out on a hunt for bones, grave dust, scourgeon, general area loot. That's general area loot is normally whatever you can see here in the map. In this case, it would be those three Oops. now is this game something for you well you have gotta answer the question for yourself do you play alone well it's gonna be a hard grind if you play with others it becomes significantly easier because all of the bosses are they have their stats they are like they are they don't get stronger if more people attack them so numbers advantage is a real thing in this game can PvP be fun? It's extremely strong dependent on yourself because if you enjoy whatever the PvP you can have is just normal PvP where people can gank you and destroy everything you have but not loot what's on your body and what's on your chest and there is a second PvP mode where you can do absolutely everything once I kill you, all your stuff is mine. And I think the problem would be that you would never ever ever find a server where not one clan would dominate everything. Because if a new clan turns up, 
they just get smacked down, robbed of everything and never manage to pull one off. Even if three new players find one, I don't know, under-equipped high-level vampire, manage to take him down, they would just search for the castle, they got all the resources and revenge drive you into the ground and never let you stand up. So I don't think PvP is... It's bully PvP, that's what it is. And it's probably not really enjoyable. To what games can you mostly compare this one? Valheim. Valheim and Conan Exiles. You run around, grain resources, and you do it only for that. There's no real story at the moment. I mean, this is early exit. It's a 0.5 version. And maybe something comes in. Maybe an old retainer of your family comes to you. And a familiar, a little, an old vampire that turned into a rat and kept being a rat for so long that he can no longer turn back. Or a little fluttering bat that flutters around your castle heart, drains your essences and tells you who the story of your family and how you can take revenge. That would be one quite nifty way to insert a story into this game. As of now, it doesn't have this one. It makes an amazing first impression with the character creation and the intro and then it just lets you lose in the, in the world. So if just playing the game for its sake is what you like that's amazing this could be something for you the best button in the game is the compulsive counter which just sorts everything if you got something in your inventory take up some water and just do press compulsive counter and something of those is already in there it gets sorted away if no item of that sort is in like i took everything of the blood rose potions out it doesn't sort them in so that's quite a nice function that they put in early on. What's in the game works for the most time, especially the whole standing in the shadow to avoid sun damage. I mean, it's really just almost pixel perfect. No damage, damage, no damage. No, no. And it's really accurate. For example, those little bright spots here between the leaves. If you, for example, stand there and are fishing, and the sun moves, the shadow walks away, and you end up between one of those two shadow areas, you take sun damage and your fishing gets interrupted. Bit annoying when this happens, but oh well. The greatest bug I have encountered was um, loot chests that close without you looting them, and then they become locked and you no longer can get what's inside. And this only ever happened with the golden chest, which are the premium loot chests. So yeah, bit annoying there. If you watch this video, I thank you. There will be a what about video about this game where I make some background research, for example, just to know which giant streamer managed to pull this one out of obscurity into the mainstream and told everyone, hey, look, that's the next big thing. Even though it kind of isn't because it takes an ungodly amount of hours. And I will take a look at the how much you can personalize your own single player experience if you can make it um, easy enough to have fun with it or if there is some sort of problem with all this. Now once again, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice time. Stay safe and bye bye.